and welcome everybody. My name is Valplay Gaming, otherwise known as Charlie, and welcome to a video I haven't done in a while, Coop Corner Chat, episode 29. And this video is the Coop Community Roundup of 2021. For those that haven't seen a Coop Community Roundup before, this is a video that I do once per year at the end of the year, where essentially we look a little bit into the past of this year, uh, specifically around the Coop Community, and we talk about the statistics and numbers of what's happened across all my social medias, uh, as well as reflect on some of the changes, the good and the bad that's happened. Uh, we have a little bit of a reflection on it. We have a little bit of a look into what's coming next year, uh, and just generally sum up uh, the year in a nice, neat little bow before moving into 2022. So to start with, guys, this will be quite a long video. So I will say now that underneath the video, there will be timestamps marked to each of the different sections. Uh, these are going to be firstly the Coop News section, where we talk about what is actually going to be coming in the near future looking at 2022. Uh, this is then going to be moving into the roundup where we're going to talk about each of the social medias. Now, we're not going to talk about Instagram or Twitter, mainly because those are basically just used for updates. Um, so we're going to be starting with YouTube, then we're going to be looking at Discord, and then we're going to be finishing off by looking at Twitch. Then once we've done those roundups, we're going to be talking about uh, January's giveaway. Uh, then we're going to be looking at some clips of the year. So we're going to look at kind of the, the my favorite clips um, from this year. So let's get started then with the Coop news. Um, so what is there to talk about? Firstly, schedule updates. For those who haven't seen, um, I'm not sure how many people will kind of watch YouTube but don't really look at my Discord or Twitch. Um, just be aware that I have now settled into a new schedule with Twitch, uh, which is I now stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6 p.m. UK time until 10 p.m. UK time. And then one weekend day, either Saturday or Sunday, uh, from 12 till 7. Now, these times can fluctuate a little bit, but that is what I'm aiming for. Um, I don't stream more, even if I have free time, and I try to not stream less. Um, I apologize if people that live, uh, you know, in crazy different time zones, if this doesn't always work for you. Um, sometimes it will move around a little bit, but that's unfortunately how it's going to be for a little while, because that's working quite well for my in real life uh, scenario. Uh, as for YouTube, um, we're in a bit, of, we'll talk more about how the YouTube has changed soon. Um, but in terms of my YouTube schedule, uh, apart from this video coming out, uh, you guys have probably noticed we've been doing a lot of YouTube shorts recently. That's probably going to stay for a short while, um, but you can still expect some more videos in the future, but none that I can name right now. Uh, in terms of other news, we also have a brand new merch store coming out in January. Um, now, when I say brand new merch store, it's still the same merch store uh, using Streamlabs. Uh, the link will be below the video. Um, but we are completely refreshing our stock. So we're keeping some of the solid items that like, you know, are kind of pinnacles, you know, like a logo mug, logo shirt. Um, but a lot of the merch that had uh, emotes on or different designs, uh, we're having a bit of a refresh. We've removed a lot of them or a lot of them are going to be removed by the time this video has come out. Um, and I'm going to be replacing it with a lot of new merch. So make sure you check out the merch channel at some point in the early year because there's going to be lots of new stuff. And I'm also going to be giving away some of that new merch as well, so make sure you stick around for the giveaway details as well. Okay then, so let's get into the roundup of 2021. And we're going to start with YouTube. So, uh, let's little do a bit of reflection on the stats to begin with. So, this year on YouTube, we've gone from 230 subs to 310. Now, to most people, that will probably sound quite small. You know, when you look at how big some people grow, and some people grow really early quite early sometimes it might not seem that much but believe me when i say to for, for myself and my editor dry bones uh you know that increase of 120 subs is actually quite big like we have had some massive dry spells with gaining subs on the youtube um so to have 120 gain this year is actually quite an achievement for us so we're i'm i'm personally very happy with that i can't speak for dry bones but i'm personally very happy with that um, and in terms of new videos, we've released 96 new videos this year. Um, I think we've done some pretty good videos this year. There's a lot of uh, golden videos in there this year. We'll talk more about those in a moment. Um, now, admittedly, we have done quite a lot of shorts. We've done about cool, about 20 shorts or something over the last kind of few weeks um, or something like that. So admittedly, the shorts do uh, bump those numbers up. But even still, it's been quite a big year for the videos. And we've had some really good ones too. So let's reflect a little bit on some of the changes we've had on YouTube this year. So I'm, I am, I have got my YouTube uh, 
uh, studio up in front of me now because I'm, I'm kind of ad-libbing this video. I'm not, you know, I haven't got like a set script that I'm going by. I've got some notes in front of me, but um, so bear with me. So we've had quite a few changes to uh, the channel this year. Um, so for those that remember, we used to do our highlights videos, um, which were kind of a mixture of short clips and long clips and the... Well, okay, the way we originally did our highlights videos was it was just a series of clips that I gave Dry Bones to edit. And that it, what ended up happening is that a list got so long that sometimes you'd, you'd see a new highlights video come out, but the highlights were from months and months and months ago because it's taken that long for Dry Bones to get through all of the clips I've been giving him. And I decided that I wanted the highlights video to be actually what happened that month. So from, uh, I think it was uh, April this year, we changed it now so that the highlights video is actually the highlights from that month, not like, you know, yonks ago. And that got some quite, that got actually quite good reception. Those videos were doing it relatively well. Uh, we did continue with the Coop Corner chat videos, uh, including some really, really fun ones like cooking with fowl and stuff like that. Actually, no, they were feature videos, so I don't know why I'm saying that. But even still, we kept going with the Coop Corner chat because obviously me and Rhea, we moved house this year. Um, you guys got house tours and things like that. Uh, obviously, Dungeons and Chickens, that's still uh, thriving, going well. Admittedly, there hasn't been a, a couple of episodes for the last few months, but there will be moving into uh, January. Uh, we also had a new intro video, which was quite nice as well. Um, so yeah, we you know changes wise that the, the main changes to YouTube, let's be honest, has been the fact that new high, new type of highlight videos, and looking at the end of the year, we've now moved into YouTube Shorts. Um, now I haven't really explained this on YouTube. I did it did I did do an explanation in Twit Discord. Um, but the reason why we're doing shorts at the moment is Dry Bones is very, very tied up at the moment with uh, college work, and I'm quite tied up with in real life commitments. So uploading shorts at the moment is kind of the best of two worlds, where me and Dry Bones get to take a slight step back from all of the hours we spend editing, um, but also it's still regular. I think good content uh, that so far people seem to be enjoying because we've seen the biggest spike in our sub growth and viewership uh, from these sorts, which is fantastic to see. So uh, moving into the new year, you can expect to see a lot more shorts, uh, but we will still bring out some other videos as well. Now, as a couple of like videos I want to talk about before we move on from YouTube, a few of the ones that really, really um, have... Uh, sorry, that I've enjoyed either making or, or watching. Um, I love the new highlight videos. I've watched so many of them over and over. If you haven't watched them, if you're a relatively new channel, I'd highly recommend checking out the highlights playlist and uh, looking at some of the month's highlights. Some of the memes that have been put in there, I think are really, really funny. Uh, we obviously, uh, I'm really pleased with my Dark Deception playthrough. I still actually haven't finished it. I think we're up to part seven or eight, but there are about seven or eight episodes at the moment of uh, my Dark Deception playthrough. And for those that haven't seen that, I'm very, very pleased with how that came out. I was very happy with that this year. Uh, we did have the Cooking with Fowl episodes, one and two. Uh, I can't guarantee if there's gonna be a third, maybe we'll see. Uh, but either way, I was very pleased with those this year. Um, and yeah, I'm very uh, pleased with the 500 escape video as well, the one that came out um, in uh, mid-December. I feel like that was a great achievement as well. Um, the last thing I want to say about YouTube then, guys, is a massive thank you. Thank you to everyone that has subscribed this year. Thank you to everyone that has been keeping up the momentum with, you know, liking my videos, commenting the videos. You guys have no idea. Just a simple like or a simple comment of, that was funny, thanks Charlie, whatever. You have no idea how much that helps with us with the YouTube algorithm. So to everyone that's commented or liked a video this year, thank you so, so, so much. And obviously a massive thank you to my editor, Drybones. Uh, he is the literally the lifeblood of the YouTube channel. He's the one that does the large majority of the editing, the large majority of the thumbnails. Um, so thank you very much, Drybones, for a very, very productive year, buddy. Um, I can't wait to see what comes next. Okay, so moving into Discord roundup now. So uh, let's start again with a little bit of the facts and figures. So uh, this year we've gone up from 230 members to 310. So a nice little gain of uh, 80 uh, new members, which is fantastic. Great to have new chickens in the coop. Now, admittedly, this is, comes with a bit of a positive and a negative. I can say now we gained a lot more than that this year, but we also lost a lot. But to be fair, with Discord, that is understandable. A lot of people, including myself, will regularly have Discord, you know, you'll have so many Discords that you've joined that you'll have a bit of a cull and you'll start just leaving the Discords that you haven't been active in in a while, which is perfectly fine. So yeah, we have lost a lot of members, but overall we have gained 17 more. So 
for, for, if you're one of those Discord members, welcome in. It's a pleasure to have you in the community. I appreciate that, uh, you know, a lot of people mute the server because if you're in a lot of servers, you don't want to have constant pings. But I really appreciate everybody that is keeping the server nice and active and wholesome. Now, I'll be honest, guys, uh, you know, for those that didn't watch my Coop Corner recap last year, I want to kind of make this point again, that even though I am a Twitch streamer and YouTuber, um, it, it might surprise you to know that actually of all of my social medias, Discord is my priority. Discord is what I want to see grow the most, because for me, the most fun thing about this whole entry into the streaming lifestyle has been building a community. It's been building a, you know, a wider group of friends, family almost, that, uh, you know, that we, you know, let's be honest, we all chat every day, we hang out every day, we share our, you know, we share our good times, we share our bad times. Um, it's just a really, I sometimes think of it, it's like my little corner of the internet. And I like thinking of it that way. It's my little corner of the internet that we've built. I say we, because it's not just me. It's been a lot of, uh, a lot of you that have helped me build this. Um... And it's just really, really pleasing to see, especially as I record this video, the Discord's been really active recently. Um, my personal favorite channel to be looking at is the Looking for Game channel. I love it when I see uh, community members saying in there, hey, I'm playing DVD, does anyone wanna play? And I see random people that have never played with each other go, yeah, I'll join you. And then I see lovely little messages like, oh, thanks for the games and stuff. I love seeing that this community has brought people together in a really wholesome way. So um, massive thank you again to everyone that has been a part of that and keeping, for, for me personally, it's been just amazing to see. So thank you very, very much. Uh, in terms of some, you know, reflecting on the year of uh, new features and stuff. Now, again, I'm just going to bring up Discord on my screen so I can just kind of have a little look at it. Um, just to kind of prompt me. So we've had quite a bit of changes uh, on the Discord this year. Uh, we've obviously changed loads of channels. Um, I'm quite happy of how we've got it set up right now. We've got a nice uh, role selector channel now where you can select your roles. Um, this was uh, down to my mod, Kieran, who uh, realized that if you... Oh, God, look at the contrast from the sun there. Yeah, go away. Um, if you look at the uh, new role selector channel, uh, Kieran's now added the fact that you can select a role for your pronouns, which means that next to your name in the Discord uh, gives a little coloured heart so people know what your pronouns are. Um, that's really, really good. We're a very diverse community and it's fantastic that people can now be recognised, uh, you know, how they should be uh, without lots of mistaken uh, genders or just generally getting mixed up. Um, so that's really, really good feature. Um, what else have we done? Obviously, apart from just general tidies up, um, we had the gifts only channel that's been doing really well. Um, we've, you know, we've had the Minecraft server that's recently been brought up and that's been going quite well as well. Um, we've seen loads of memes, seen loads of cute selfies. We've had amazing art this year. The art channel has been really, really busy. Um, been seen some fantastic art, which has been amazing. Um... The chill zone's been used occasionally. Uh, so for those that haven't actually seen it before, the chill zone is a place where you could just hang out, it mutes your microphone, you could, and you can just be with others but listen to music. Um, and also we've got the KoopCon uh, section now as well, because we have now uh, uh, started planning for KoopCon. I probably should have mentioned that in the Coop news, but that's something for next year anyway. Um, but yeah, so overall, the, the Discord has had its uh, fair share of changes. Uh, we've obviously also had some new mods. Actually, let's talk, yeah, let's talk about the mods. Um, I, I could have spoken about it in Twitch, but let's talk about it now. We've obviously had a removal of some mods. They've, you know, stepped down rather than been kicked off. Um, and we've had a lot of new mods come in. Now, I'm not going to name them all in this video right now, but you guys know who you are. Thank you very, very much to the new mods that have joined. You guys have been absolutely amazing so far with keeping the community in check and nice and wholesome as well as keeping it nice and active as well so thank you you're all doing a fantastic job and in twitch as well um now i will say you know i don't want to i don't want to sit on this for too long but i will say you know we have had a little bit of drama this year in discord as i'm sure you know you always get between friends and stuff um but thank you to everyone that has dealt with when we have had it in discord um you know sometimes complications between friends thank you to everyone for having a mature stance on it and getting past it all nice and quickly um because the obviously that's why i don't want the community at all um, so my goals for sort of next year for Discord is just to kind of keep it active, keep the new members coming in. But honestly, you know, our goal for Discord is let's just keep it a nice place to be. Whether, you know, even if we drop 300 members, it ends up just being 10 of us, you know. As long as we keep it a nice, wholesome place to hang out and enjoy and be a safe place for everyone to be, then that's great for me. Okay, so moving into Twitch now, definitely saving the best for last, considering that I am a Twitch streamer. 
Um, so let's start with talking about the stats of Twitch. So this year we've gone from uh, 1,440 follows to 2,448. That is a net gain of 1,008 follows. That is insane. If you are one of those people that followed this year, thank you so, so much and welcome to the community. If you're one of those people that have been supporting my channel by, you know, asking people to raid me or sharing my channel on Twitter or, you know, ever discords or even just bringing, hey, this is my friend. I brought him over. Thank you so, so much. It has gone a long way. I am so thankful. This growth is insane. I, it still feels like yesterday that I was still doing that long grind to get to a thousand followers. And now I've sort of blinked and we're almost at 2,500. It's insane. Thank you so much. Um, in terms of how many hours I've streamed, uh, last year I streamed 658 hours. This year I've streamed 679. So about, what's that, 21 uh, hours more than I did last year. Uh, that's definitely thanks to the 48 hour stream and uh, all of November streams. Um, but yeah, crazy when you think that's about three or four months of full time work considering that i do also have an in real life full-time job um so yeah absolutely crazy uh, as for looking at back at the year what sort of games did i play um obviously dead by daylight has been our main game throughout the year and that has been a lot of fun we're still playing that we're still enjoying it had its ups and downs and we have had times where i've moved away from it a little bit um we played a lot of Hood Outlaws and Legends this year. So that was a game that came out earlier about kind of uh, March, April time. Um, it was really good and I was very good at it actually. It's a shame, the game did die. The, the player base dropped off the face of the earth due to uh, issues with the game. However, it was very, very fun whilst it lasted. Uh, if you didn't see those clips, check out the highlights video from uh, May and June. You'll see a lot of uh, Hood Outlaws and Legends, uh, some really good clips in there. Uh, earlier this year, we also streamed a lot of Rust, uh, and they obviously uh, became a lot of good highlights of the videos as well. Um, big shout out to Jeff and Toaster, the boys. Uh, we played so much Rust together. Others played as well, obviously, but Jeff and uh, Toaster were the main two. Um, we had so much fun on Rust. I might actually do some more uh, in 2022, because that was a lot of fun. Uh, we also played a lot of New World as well when that came out. Now, admittedly, uh, I have dropped off playing that a little bit. I am looking to get into it again uh, in the early new year. Um, it's just that it hasn't been very addicting recently, but you might see it again in the new year. Uh, in terms of events that have happened this year, we've had the 48 hour stream uh, for reaching 2000 follows. That was insane. Uh, we also did a 36 hour uh, subathon. Uh, we did the Pride Charity Month in June where we raised a four figure sum for uh, Gallup, the UK-based Pride charity. Uh, we did the Movember charity in November, where we raised 1400 for them, which was amazing. Um, we did an Easter egg hunt in, uh, in Easter. We did the December Easter egg hunt. Uh, I did the Loops Ahoy DVD, um, uh, what's it called? Tournament, uh, thanks to Shyhawk for that, where we won that trophy, which is amazing. Um, it's just been a genuinely amazing year for Twitch. Um, we've done so, so much, gained so much, and really, really built the community. It's been amazing. Um, in terms of other major changes, obviously we've had lots of new emotes and scenes and stuff like that. So a massive shout out to my artist Codex, uh, who has basically single-handedly done pretty much all of that. Um, so thank you very much Codex for your hard work. Uh, massive thank you to uh, one of my main mods, uh, Kieran1997, who has continuously worked very, very hard on this new loyalty system that came out this year, the Bork system. Uh, I cannot understate how much that has been amazing for the channel. Um, and he's done that all of his own accord. So again, Kieran, from the bottom of my heart, buddy, thank you so much for all of the work you've done on that. Um, as well as uh, keeping the bingo up to date, because we've been doing lots of bingo, which has been great. Uh, we will be doing more bingo in uh, 2022. We aim for one per month. Um, but yeah, so it has been an incredible year on Twitch. Um, next year, you know, my goals for Twitch, uh, I'd like to try and get to kind of three, maybe, well, no, I'd like to try and get to maybe three and a half, four thousand followers. If I could maybe try gain about a thousand to one thousand five hundred again, that would be absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, so that's, uh, that's Twitch. 
Okay then, so now time to talk about uh, the giveaways. So we've had a ton of amazing giveaways this year. Congratulations to everyone that has won merch or games or, or Steam vouchers, uh, Nitro codes. I've done loads of different giveaways this month. Congratulations to everyone that won something. Uh, now going to 2022, I'm going to continue the theme of trying to do a giveaway every single month. Now due to in real life money sometimes being a bit of a push, you know, some giveaways will be uh, bigger than other ones. Some of them might be quite small, and please don't be upset if sometimes giveaways are sub-related, meaning, hey, you get more tokens if you do more subs. You know, I do this because without sounding like a, uh, you know, without sounding too much like a, uh, I don't know, money grabber, you know, sometimes I do rely on people gifting subs to help pay for the giveaways. Um, so... Please don't ever be shocked if you see a giveaway, which is the more you sub, the more points you get, because sometimes I do have to do those. If you if you ever, I don't like to do that, but if you ever do see me doing a giveaway, which is the more you sub, the more points you get. Read between the lines that the reason I'm doing that is because I will not be able to afford to give away, you know, all of these things if we don't get a few extra subs throughout the month. Um, so let's talk about uh, January's giveaway. Let's announce that. Now, I'm going to do a bit of a quick gag. We did this last year because obviously there is the timestamps underneath. And I have no doubt that there's going to be some people that skip all of the video you've watched so far just to go straight to the giveaway. So I always like to cut in with a little bit of a joke there um, as if people have skipped to it. So you ready? What? Oh, wait, you just skipped straight to the giveaway? You didn't watch any of my recap? Shame on you! No, I'm kidding. It's absolutely fine. I don't expect everyone to want to watch like a 20 minute long video. Uh, if you're here to find out about the giveaway, that is perfectly fine. Um, so January's giveaway is going to be the following. I'm going to be giving away three of these Kappa Caps. Uh, they do come in different colors. You can check out the merch store on January 1st to see which colors you can get. Uh, now, unfortunately, Kappa is the only emote that you can get on the hats because of the grace. Excuse me. Because of the grayscale, uh, any of the colored emotes don't work. So yes, if you want to win a Kappa Cap, I'm giving away three of them. And I'm also going to be giving away three extra sticker packs this month as well. In terms of how to enter, everybody will be able to get two free tokens uh, from this giveaway. Uh, one will be available in Discord, one will be available in Twitch. I'll explain more about that in the Discord uh, on January 1st. And then everybody else can also get an extra three tokens, bringing your maximum total up to five by subscribing in the month of January. Now, gifted subs will not count for the gifter or the giftee. Essentially, if you yourself subscribe, that will give you three extra tokens for the giveaway. Otherwise, you get the two free tokens anyway. So that is the giveaway for January. There'll be more details in the giveaways channel in Discord shortly, but good luck, have fun, hope you win. So now we come to the part of the video where I want to be soppy for just a 60 seconds or so. I don't want to take too long because um, I appreciate you've watched this video for a while, but I just want to take this moment to round up the year and say a massive, massive thank you. Thank you, starting off, thank you to my mods. Thank you to Kieran for all his hard work. Thank you to Dexus for all of his hard work with the uh, new chicken loyalty system. Uh, not, not loyalty system, sorry, that's that's Kieran. Uh, you know the chickens at the bottom of the screen? That's Dexus. Thank you very much, Dexus, for making that this year. I almost for completely forgot to mention that. Um, thank you to all my other mods. Uh, Leah, Codex, Drybones Gives, Koishi, Leon, Safi, Rhea. And also, thank you to my mods that have been modding for most of the year but left later on, like Peach and Alex as well. Um, you guys have been amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you to everyone that has joined my channel this year, supported the channel this year, done fan art of the channel this year, because some of that's been coming in. It's been amazing. Thank you to those that have supported me when I've been going through some really depressive phases. <sighs> Genuinely, guys, it has been a great year, and I am very, very grateful. I'm going to be honest for a second. There have been multiple times this year where I've really genuinely sat there going, I'm going to quit. I, I, there have been moments where I've gone, I think I'm done with this now. And then I've slept on it. I've waited a few days and you guys have pulled me back up to where, where I am now. So genuinely, thank you for a great year in the coop. You guys are all amazing. 
And now to tie up the video, I wanted to end with a little bit of uh, a recap of some of my favorite clips of the year. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys one clip from each month of this year uh, that I particularly found uh, enjoyable. So enjoy the next 12 clips, which sums up a little bit of how this year has gone. Um, and once the clips have ended, the video will end. So from the lastly, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, enjoy the next 12 clips and I'll see you in 2022 going to so i'm gonna go over to this this isn't the best place to be to be honest especially against a freddy and lnt wall is not a great thing ah! are you kidding me how did that work i mean he's gonna get me now apparently not I'm gonna go down. I can manage to get a dab after getting the window as well. Hey, let's see. Let's see what I can do. Oh, beautiful! Baited which way I was going. Oh, the double! I just stunned the nurse twice in a row. That never happens. Whoop. What's going on? How's this happening? Uh, you got spaghetti and meatballs? Nice. Very nice blue. Oh. Wait. Oh my god! Run away! Oh, he's not friendly either. Jeez, that came out of nowhere. Yeah, that was the last zombie that hit me down. <laughs> I got a bit of oh, no, there were two of them and I shot one of them and I kept that last one alive just so the round wouldn't reset. So it says we need to protect these. Yeah, Pegasus throwing the game, I know, right? Uh, Cod Zombies got us for hey, so long. Yeah, I know, who right? Said that? Who said that? What do I need to ban in my chat? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it says we've got to protect these things. You're right, mate. <laughs> what, what are you so scared of? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking massive! <laughs> Got him. Got them both, got them both. Beautiful! Oh, hello. Oh, triple kill! Wait, is that, is that the fourth? Am I gonna get a quad kill? Come on. Marie stole my quad kill! Sorry. He was expecting someone to jump down. And no one did. I'm just, look, I'm just gonna look at him from the window. <laughs> Yo, he's gonna set a trap there. I reckon I can get over that. I'm gonna test it. Can I get over that? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh, that was actually perfect. <laughs> um, Hello. Can I, if I give you this, can you make two. Um, can you make two uh, thingamabobs? Behind you, Charlie. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, take that lock off the door. I'll put Brilliant. a lock on it. Yeah, she's picking up. That, per that person's only on first hook, though. Let me heal you. They're only on first hook. I mean, healing basically does nothing. Worth Blood Warden? You're absolutely right, it's blood warning. <laughs> we still going again? Yeah. Oh, I've ruined it. Oh my god, that did not work. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, that tickled me. That tickled me. <laughs> Oh, she did not want to be moved. <laughs> oh, that tickled. Yeah. So there's. Is there? Is there a way of getting up? Oh yeah. So I've got. I've got Maybe one more. You're... I've got one more floor. Yeah. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I... On the beam, oh. you lucky oh, scum. Okay, do this very carefully. Oh. There's a random crows. Yes. 
Have we got this? Fucking let's go! Yes! Oh yes! You guys are an insanely cracked team, oh my god! 300 escapes, I mean it's not 500! In, in a seven hour stream, we've got 28 escapes. I'm going like headed. Okay, right, yeah, we're gonna do it here. We're gonna do it here, this is gonna work. Right, Houdini. And then we're gonna, over there. Yes, it worked! We Houdini'd him and he's gone that way and I'm going this way. Very nice.